Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the dive brief. So, starting to get a little bit chilly. So I was thinking about warm water diving and thinking about traveling because things are starting to open up again. So I thought I'd break down a few of my favorite bits of gear. I'm basically gonna kit out a traveling scuba diver, someone who's traveling somewhere nice and sunny, if you can remember that, and kind of break down some of the bits of gear on simplyscuba.com that I think would really help. To start the list, we're looking at diving masks. So diving in sunny conditions, I'm looking at the Apex VX1 mask, but specifically the UV cut. So this version actually has a treated lens. On the outside, it actually has a special filter that cuts out a certain level of UV light. So that acts a bit like sunglasses to protect your eyes in and around the surface. Because you've got the sunlight above you, it's reflecting off of the waves as well. Even when you're under the water, it's still coming through into your eyes you need to protect them. Then we're looking at the Atomic Frameless 2 mask, huge field of view and a very smart styling. So this again is a frameless design, so it's very sleek, very uh, sort of lower internal volume. And the Frameless 2 has this big, big open view window, so it's letting plenty of light in. You've got a crystal clear cut skirt on, the, on one version. You can also get it in a black, which kind of does sort of put a little bit of blinkers on, but Still, you have big open field of view so you can see everything and all of this light just floods in so you can see the entire reef. And finally, we're looking at the Cressy Air Mask. As the name suggests, it's nice and airy as well. Similar in skirt to the uh, to the Frameless 2, crystal clear. So again, even the skirt is acting a bit like an extra lens all the way around your mask. So it's letting plenty of light in from the sides, increasing your peripheral vision so you can see your buddy and you don't have to look around too hard to actually find them. Regulators, uh, of course you can rent regulators when you're out there, but they're never that nice. And the, the old adage of, so you know who spat in them, kind of takes a whole new meaning post 2019, 2020. So owning your own regulators. And a lot of them nowadays, they're designed specifically for travel. So they're incredibly light. And the first one really does uh, sort of entail that. And that's the Apex XL4 Plus. So incredibly lightweight second stage. The second stage itself is kind of derived from their flight regulator, nice and compact. And that has a few benefits. Um, the first thing is, is that this regulator is cold water rated. So the XL4 first stage, you can actually take that cold water diving as well. But up it's fairly compact as well it's based on their ds4 so it's nice and small you can use it in cold water but because it's small you can actually travel with it and it's incredibly lightweight braided hoses as well so for a great performance regulator that you can actually dive at home but it's designed to be as lightweight as possible so you can travel with it xl floor is a great direction to go down Another direction to go down is the Atomic T3. Now this is really premium regulator territory. Titanium body on the first stage instead of marine grade brass. Titanium, incredibly strong, far stronger than marine grade brass, but it's also lighter as well. The second stage itself, all sorts of bells and whistles, all atomic equipment is just pristine. It's lovely. It has clever things. The T3 it has a automatic Venturi lever, so you don't have to flick it on or off. It just does it automatically. Um, <clears throat> auto closure or uh, all sorts of clever stuff inside of it is a beautiful regulator, but because it's made out of titanium, it's incredibly lightweight as well. So for a travel regulator that has literally all the bells and whistles on it, Atomic T3 is definitely worth considering. On the other end of the spectrum, you can go down for something like the Oceanic Alpha 10. The Alpha range of Oceanic's regulators has always been that kind of workhorse down in the, uh, the classic regulator design. Nothing overly fancy, they'll do the job, but they're also nice and lightweight as well. Cold water, so you can still take it diving in cold waters, but light again, so you can travel with it abroad. If you're not after anything overly fancy, then the Alpha 10 is a great regulator. 
Now, BCDs are typically the, the big, bulky, fairly heavy thing that takes up most of the space in your diving kit bag when you're traveling. Again, there are traveling versions of BCDs nowadays. We have the Aqualung Rogue BCD. The Rogue is basically a, a bit more comprehensive version of their Outlaw BCD. The Outlaw was designed to be as stripped down as possible, a modular BCD with just minimal stuff to it. It was just a harness and a wing and that was kind of about it. The Rogue is a bit more comprehensive. You have more bits and bobs that you can add to it so you you have a more comprehensive BCD but it's still a stripped down BCD. Again it's modular in design so you can literally pull it apart each of the component parts and in that you actually have a very modular um, ergonomic system. Instead of fixed straps they have hinges on all of the shoulder straps and the waistbands you can pull it apart, you can repair it, you can replace bits and bobs. It's a great BCD, but it's also incredibly lightweight as well. Then we move on to the Zeal Covert XT. A bit more of a standard wing design, but again, this has kind of molly straps, so you can add extra bits and bobs. With it being a wing style, it's actually, it doesn't have all the extra bits around the waist. You don't have big pockets that feel that you're getting confined when you inflate it all the way. All the inflation is behind you. So even when you're on the surface, it's holding you in a nice position in the water. And when you are under the water, it holds you in the perfect position because all of that buoyancy is behind you. But again, very, very lightweight. And the weight system is very unique. It's unique to Zeagle. You have a single pull strap. So you pull that and it undoes a thread underneath and that actually ditches your weights. And finally, we're moving on to the Hollis LTS, the light travel system. It's literally in the name. Again, wing style. So you have a huge amount of adjustment. If you struggle to find BCDs that fit you in the standard small, medium and large, wing styles actually have a greater deal. or They often have a greater deal of adjustment in their straps compared to a jacket style BCD. But the Hollis LTS is a tough BCD that's also lightweight as well. Normally when you go for a light travel BCD, they sacrifice hardiness and thicker materials for lighter materials. So if you do brush up against things, they're not quite as tough, but the LTS is still fairly tough despite being lightweight as well. Wing style, so you're still having all those benefits of trim, still has integrated weight systems as well. The LTS is a very smart BCD to look at. Wetsuits and exposure protection, you still need something to keep yourself a little bit warm, depending on the water temperatures. Obviously, I'm doing a bit of a range here, starting off with the fourth element of Xenos. So this is the shorty version, but the Xenos range, they do everything from three mil shorties to three mil full suits. 5 mil full suits, I think there's even a 7 mil full suit as well. But for traveling, yeah, just a nice little shorty, just something with a decent quality neoprene, something that gives you plenty of stretch. Definitely worth looking at the fourth element Xenos range. It was designed to be very easy to get in and out, something that you can take on and take off multiple times a day during a long dive trip. That's isn't kind of exactly what it was designed for. If you're not really into neoprene or you don't want a, um, an actual neoprene wetsuit, there are plenty of neoprene alternatives nowadays. You can have something like the Apex Thermic Carbon Core. So this is a neoprene alternative. It's a three layer material that the main benefit for me is that it's neutrally buoyant. So you don't actually have to add any lead to compensate for any buoyancy because it's neutrally buoyant, but it acts much the same as a two, maybe a three mil wetsuit. So multiple parts, you either get like a long sleeve shirt or a short sleeve shirt, and that just covers your core and just acts to help keep you a little bit warmer and just take the edge off when the water's getting a little bit colder, you're staying under a little while and a rash vest just isn't gonna cut it, but also designed for scuba diving. So it's gonna protect you from your shoulder straps digging in. Uh, and so it is still nice and comfortable, but you can wear them on the surface as well for surface water sports to keep yourself nice and warm. And then other uh, sort of new materials, and we have the Aqualung Escape Wetsuit. So this is a four mil wetsuit suit and it's actually a plant-based neoprene alternative funky colors funky designs it's not just the standard 
black wetsuit you actually have some funky colors the the men's one you have this sort of army green with red kind of detailing on it and then with the women's you have blues and whites with this tribal kind of uh, sort of patterning on the shoulders modern designs and a modern take on a wetsuit it's not uh, petroleum based anymore it's limestone based or it's uh, it's plant based as well so a lot of clever neoprene alternatives nowadays so if you're looking to keep yourself warm you can do it in a more eco-friendly way now and finally fins so bear in mind that most fins tend to be around the two to three kilo mark i mean my rk3 fins they're about three kilos i think for the pair of them first pair of fins for traveling divers i'd look at the aqualung storm fins these weigh in at about 1.3 kilos obviously depending on size but incredible they're designed to be worn barefoot but they're still open heel so they have that bungee heel strap so it's quick and easy to get in but you don't have to carry the boots as well so you're saving even more weight but again no boots it's just barefoot so for warmer waters which is exactly what we're looking at in this video next one we're actually looking at the cressy reaction ebs fins so these weigh in at about one and a half kilos 1.5 so again but these are a full full pair of fins and lots of clever design uh, traits in them in that the blade of the fin it's actually attached to the top of the foot pockets you still get that angle of attack but the overall profile is actually fairly flat so if if you're um, trying to move around on the dive deck you're not bending the fins anywhere uncomfortably but again nice and light but you get a decent sized pair of fins and finally the Ziegel Recon fins these look like they're big heavy chunky rubber pair of fins but actually these weigh in it I think it's about 1.8 kilos so under two kilos which is incredible for this style of fins and they're a very modern take on that vented style nice hydrodynamics nice look and feel to them and they are very very tough as well they're made out of that single piece of material so there's no hinges no joins or anything so you can use them for years and years and years and i'd be just as happy wearing these at home in british waters as i would be traveling them because they're still nice and light so there are just a few of my choices if I were looking to kit out a traveling scuba diver. All of these are available on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be links down in the des uh, description below for all the different departments to uh, kit yourself out. We sell a whole range of stuff from warm water gear to cold water gear as well. But let us know what your favorite dive equipment is for traveling, whether you have something to dive at home with and then something separate or something that does both of them at the same time. Let us any tips that you have down in the comments below thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving